<laughs> hello, goodbye, and hello again. Welcome back to Drifter Carbon and to Spooky Ducktober. Uh, I, I'm in the middle of a Nightmanor playthrough on UFO 50. If you're not familiar with UFO 50, it is a collection of 50 brand new retro games. And Night Manor is a horror point-and-click game. If you did not see the, the, the first part of this Let's Play, I would suggest you start there. Unless you just like starting in the middle of things, at which point, welcome back. Uh, let's go ahead and continue from where we last left off. Alright, grab the bloody knife. Take the knife. Excellent. Alright. The edge of this kitchen knife still looks very sharp, despite its scratches and stains. But I can use this next time I encounter the killer, I suppose. There are rather ordinary wooden cabinets fixed, affixed to the wall here. Looking through the cabinets reveals common dinnerware, including plates, cups, and glasses. Nothing in particular looks useful. Alright. What about the trash? As soon as you open the lid, you regret it. The rotten stench inside is enough to make your eyes water. If you aren't interested in collecting uh, these anytime soon. <laughs> okay. Some fine decorative plates hanging on the wall. I see. Looking through the cabinets reveals common dinnerware, including plates, cups, and glasses. Same message. Aside from some crusty silverware, there's an empty jar of Moldock tea that seems pungent. You decide to leave it there. Ah, uh, is this the, 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 the infamous therapist tea that he was given? That turned him into a either, either the killer or the mushroom guy in the, the tub, one or the other? I decided to leave it there, okay. Kitchen sink cabinet to find various cleaning supplies, including a large bottle of drain cleaner. You take it. Never know when you're going to need some drain cleaner, I suppose. This plastic bottle of half filled of maximum strength drain cleaner, capable of dissolving the toughest clogs, according to the label. Ooh, I bet I can pour this in that bathroom sink. All-in-one countertop unit features the built-in kitchen sink, dishwasher, cabinets, and drawers. Dishwasher is empty. Turn the sink's knobs and hear the sound of pipes banging, but no water comes out. Alright. Open the oven door and see what looks like charred remains of a turkey. At least you hope that's what it is. Oh, a note. Let's take the note. Journal entry number seven. Who leaves a journal entry on their fridge? We are looking for seven. Here it is. August 15th, 1987. Today I was outside enjoying my tea when one of the landscapers bumped into my cup and spilled it in, uh, on the ground. To my surprise, Baxter ran over and started licking up the puddle immediately. Instead of being mad, I just laughed. Who knew dogs like tea? Uh-oh. Oh, that doesn't fill me with confidence. What's good? What happened to that dog? I guess we'll find out if we get far enough in the game. Let's open the fridge. What's the worst that could happen? The refrigerator is filled with cans of dog food and rotting meat. You close the door before the smell can reach your nose. The freezer contain uh, contents are sealed in solid blocks of solid ice. Uh, a block of solid ice. This house is already quite cold, so you shut the door. What about these cabinets? More dinnerware. Nothing useful. Alright. Uh, look at this door. A closed metal door. Seems to lead outside. Windows are closed. Uh, the, the windows of this closed metal door, you can see a swimming pool outside. Alright, let's try going outside. Hey, we made it outside. Alright. The smell of chlorine hangs faintly in the cool, wet air as the sound of crickets drone through the night. What is that? There's a greenish hump floating in the center of the pool, just out of arm's reach. OK. 
Okay, I do have a hook. Maybe we can use this. The hook would be ideal for grabbing the floating object, but it's not nearly long enough to reach on its own. Okay, I need to combine that with something else. Can I combine it with the spoon? Use the spoon on the hook, but nothing happens. All right. I'm assuming that's all I can do here for now. Placid surface of the pool's black water reflects cloudy moonlight sky, moonlit sky, and uh, uh, like a mirror. Let's look at the moon. A full moon breaks through the clouds to shine its cold silver light on the still night. Watch out for flashing in this game, I suppose. Keep saying I suppose. I apologize. I'm not trying to repeat myself. The back backyard continues in this direction. Let's go this way. Four stone lion statues, mottled with moss and lichen, stand like sentinels in front of a dark, foreboding gate of oxidized copper. A lion statue with his mouth agape, as if waiting to be fed. On the base is inscribed, On spring grain fields the children play. Uh, on its base is inscribed, The red hot sun will warm the day. On its base is inscribed, When yellow leaves begin to fall. Lion's mouth agape as if waiting to be fed on the bases inscribed, the white hand comes to take them all. So, spring, summer, fall, and winter, I'm assuming. A tall black metal gate uh, looms over you, preventing you from entering the area beyond. Gate is firmly closed. There's nothing to indicate a handle or lock. So I need to solve this puzzle before I can go that way. In the stillness of the night, small critters can be heard rustling through the overgrown grass of this unkept backyard. It's a lawnmower. Rusty old lawnmower, with the half buried in the, in the overgrown grass. If you say so, it doesn't look like that overgrown to me. Lawnmower is too heavy to carry around with any part. Might be useful, it's held fir firmly on by bolts. Alright, so I guess if, uh, if, if I want a lawnmower blade or something, I'm going to have to get a uh, wrench of some sort. You try to turn the knob, but as you fear, the door is locked. Alright. This old bunk, uh, bunkhead door is weathered, but still sturdy enough to keep you out. Heavy iron padlock is keeping it locked. See, what's over this way? That way leads to the garden. Let's go to the garden. The side area of the house is com uh, comparatively smaller than the backyard and looks like it was once used as a flower garden. I see some mushroomy dirt over here. Ground here is bare in contrast to the thick grass that covers the rest of the lawn. Is this where the tea was spilled? The dirt is packed lightly here, and you can't seem to break through the ground with your bare hands. What about my bare hook? Use the hook on the dirt. You use the hook on the dirt patch, but nothing happens. Alright, it was worth a shot. What else do I have? A, a bowl? Can I use the bowl on the dirt? Dig it out, little by little. Use the bowl in the dirt patch. What about the spoon? An even slower method, but but could technically be used for digging if you were desperate. Nothing. All right. I'm out of ideas. This back over here so I can get to my weapons quickly. You pick a cherry from the tree and notice that it's completely covered in mold. You quickly discard it. Ooh. Nasty, nasty. Nothing to do over here. Is that something over there? Comparatively smaller now. Okay. Look in the greenhouse. Thick over with the vines covers the glass walls of the sunroom from the inside, obscuring your view of the interior. 
try going inside. Plants that once decorated the sunroom have grown to cover almost every interior surface. The aroma of vegetation is overwhelming. I see a journal entry. Take journal entry nine. Oh, now I have to go all the way over to the left side and scroll down to get to the next journal entry. Baxter did not make it through the night. I just finished burying him under the cherry tree, his favorite spot to sleep. Charlie and Becky are beside themselves with sadness. Yeah, that's what I was afraid was going to happen. At least he's not like a monster that we're going to have to fight, right? Hopefully. Try taking this plant. Nothing. Look at this. Large metal container of some sort here, but it's completely covered in vines. Try to open the container, but the vines wrapped around it keep it tightly bound. Maybe we can use the knife? Use the knife on... Can't find a good angle with the knife to cut through the vines. What about the hook? Use the hook on the metal box, but nothing happens. What's this over here? Plants that once decorated the sunroom. They've grown to cover almost every interior surface. The aroma of vegetation is overwhelming. Empty porcelain teacup sits on the table. A thin layer of mold lines the inside of it. Pick up the teacup to ponder it for a moment before setting it back down. All right. Lamp is out of reach and there's no sign of any way to turn it on or off. Through the thick canvas of vines covering the wall, you can see hints of a sliding glass door. I can see more than hints of a sliding glass door. The door is choked with vines and impossible to slide open. Just for the heck of it, we'll try the knife again. Can't find a good angle. All right. What does the knife tell us? The edge of this kitchen knife still looks very sharp despite its... Oh, okay. I guess I've already read that. Let's go back out here. Uh, we already tried picking fruit from the tree. Oh, okay. I don't think we've been here before. Large imposing house stands before you, almost defiantly. You'd love nothing more than to leave its vicinity. What's this over here? On the plaque, there is an engraving of a two-headed eagle, behind which is a small hexagonal opening. There seems to be a sort of latch inside the hexagonal opening of this plaque, but you can't seem to manipulate it. Alright, I'm assuming I need something other than the hook, but just for kicks and giggles, we'll try using the hook on it. Use the hook on the fountain plaque, but nothing happens. Worth the shot, right? Right? The statue of a woman holding a bowl above her shoulders appears to be a fountain that is no longer in working order. I go in here. Grudge door is much too heavy for you to lift on your own. Oh! Oh, shoot! Mask figure suddenly appears in front of you. You begin uh, quaking with fear in his terrifying presence. Alright, I need to use the hook again. Use the hook on what? Strike him with a hook. Your attack causes him to stumble, but only briefly. Stab him with the knife! Give him the knife! Hit him! He was ready for your attack. He swats your weapon away easily with the cleaver. Okay. Oh, now he got me. Shriek! As intense pain consumes you, you wonder what you did to deserve such a horrible end. You fall to the ground in a pool of blood. And then wake up in a cold sweat. You run your hands over your body, feeling nothing. Was it just a nightmare? Okay, I see. So it wasn't a game over. It didn't make me load my progress. But, uh, yeah, all right. I mean, there is no way to save or load in UFO 50 other than from the main menu screen of uh, each game. Let's go ahead and use the drain cleaner, now that we've exhausted all other options. 
try using the drain cleaner on sink. You empty the contents of the drain cleaner into the sink. Moments later, the foul water is sucked down the drain. What's in the sink? With the sink now empty, you notice something shiny caught in the drain. You try to take the shiny object out of the drain, but your fingers are just too big to fit into the small opening. All right, I think I have a solution for that. Tweezers on the drain. Using the tweezers, you uh, adroitly, oh, that's an interesting word. You adroitly pluck a silver key from the drain, but lose the tweezers down the drain in the process. Clumsy. A small silver key with a round stem that looks like it would fit a small lock. I think I know where that goes. That was here, right? I think. Yeah. All right. Use the key on the... There we go. The silver key fits perfectly into the jewelry box and opens it with a click. Inside is a single brass key. You take the brass key. All right. This looks like it could be a clock key, right? A cylindrical key with a flat handle that forms two opposing loops. Looks like the type of key used to wind up something. Yes, this is a key for a clock. So I'm going to use that on the clock that we found in the other room. The other uh, stairway. Over here. Alright. Use the brass key on what? You insert the brass key into the clock's face and turn it with a series of satisfying clicks. The clock chimes briefly, but makes an unusual grinding sound, followed by a loud snap. Finally, something drops and rolls out from under the clock. What is it? A slightly tarnished cog that rolls out of the now broken grandfather clock. You take the gear. Oh, oh snap. Masked figure suddenly appears in front of you. You be begin quaking with fear in his terrifying presence. Excuse me, I've got to get over to my hook so I can distract him. Use the hook on the killer. Strike him with the hook. Uh, it, it, it distracts him, but only briefly. Something seems to be... Oops, that's the wrong door. Come on. Through here. Uh, it let me hit, it let me hide before. I guess, I guess that, that was a one-use thing. Suddenly you regain your composure. Perhaps you managed to lose them. Okay. So I have a cog now. What can I use the cog for? Uh, was this like, do I, am I supposed to put this in the fountain? Tarnished cog rolled out of the, the now broken grandfather clock. Uh, it's the only thing I can think of to try. So I'm gonna go do that. Where was that? Was that through here? I think. I think so. Yeah, all right. So, did I did I open this door yet? What's through here? Oh, I've never been in here. The air of this dusty garage is a bouquet of mildew and motor oil. A single light bulb casts the room in a yellow glow. Interesting. Well, I see one thing I'm definitely going to grab. It's a flashlight. And what's this? A can of penetrating oil, smelling mostly foul. Still, still mostly full, rather. Okay. Maybe I can use this on the gear? Then stick it back in the clock? Use this on the oil. Use the gear on the oil can, but nothing happens. Alright. Nothing else I need to use on the oil right now. Maybe maybe the bowl? 
get a bowl of oil, although I'm not sure why I wouldn't just carry the oil with me. Nothing happens. Alright, I'm going to leave it alone for now, but I'll try to remember that there's an oil can here. Box is completely rusted shot. Okay, can I use this? I can. Didn't let me take it before. Use the oil can on here. Some of these puzzles are, like, solvable within the same room. The oil dissolves the rust and the box uh, springs open. Inside the box is a red gas can and a crowbar. You take both. Excellent. I imagine this could be useful in a fight. Curved steel bar that's flattened at each end for prying. I see a note as well. Journal entry 8. Down to the other page of entries. August 16th, 1987. Baxter has been vomiting to the point of dry heaving all day. He won't eat or drink anything. The kids are very upset and Cheryl won't stop blaming me because she thinks it was my tea that made him sick. Unbelievable. Unfortunately, our personal vet is out of town and all others are closed. So we'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. But we all know how that ended. Close this. Look at the car before we try opening the doors. Apart from a thin layer of dust, this late 70s sedan was kept in very good condition. Give the car door handle a yank, but unfortunately it's locked. Let's just pry it open with the crowbar. Or the hook. Let's use the hook. Use the hook on the car door, but nothing happens. Okay, crowbar on the car door. Use the crowbar on the car door, but nothing happens. All right. Well, it was worth a shot, right? The air in this dusty garage. Oh, sorry, I just hit the mic. The air in this dusty garage is a bouquet of mildew and motor oil. A single light bulb casts. Okay, I read this actually. Uh, nothing else I need to do in here. Oil-soaked rags, scraps of metal, and broken appliances fill this plastic trash bin. Picking through the trash, you find only junk and, ouch, you cut yourself on a piece of rusty scrap metal. Hope that doesn't come back to bite me. Bite your efforts, nothing happens. Oh, I see something. Hold on, what's this? Roll of duct tape hasn't lost its adhesive power. Take the duct tape. Excellent. I, I can guarantee that that'll come in handy. Duct tape hasn't lost its adhesive power. Uh, let me try using the flashlight with the batteries. And I should be able to go up those stairs now, right? Flashlight on the battery. Seriously, are you, are you that specific that I need to use the batteries on the flashlight instead of the flashlight on the batteries? Put the batteries in the flashlight and try turning it on. To your delight, the flashlight shines brightly. Okay, so I can now go in the dark areas. Can we open this garage door? Press the button, but nothing happens button on the wall that you assume is for activating the garage door. There's a mechanism that opens and closes the garage door. Upon closer inspection, the motor seems to be broken. Okay, maybe I can use the gear? What was that? Here it is. If I run out of time, the bad guy will find me again. I wonder if he's just wandering the house at all times. Use the gear on the garage door mechanism, but nothing happens. Okay. Might be able to fix this with the right tools and equipment. Uh, I don't think I have the right tools and equipment at the moment. Duct tape will fix it, right? And I couldn't get into the car. Okay, I'm gonna try going up the stairs now. If I can get there without running into our friend. Okay, 
and that was through... No, I can... Okay, I can use the flashlight to go up here now, right? Without being able to see... Okay, I need to actually use the flashlight on the darkness. The flashlight chases away the darkness, revealing a central archway and two wooden doors on the second floor. Alright. This door over here looks pretty gnarly. It appears to be the railing in the front of this door has been broken, forcibly, and the door itself has seen better days. Well, let's try going in it anyway. This cozy lounge is decorated with trophies and might be a nice place to relax under different circumstances. Oh, there's actually like a flashlight mechanic here. Interesting. Old-fashioned coin-operated jukebox with various vinyl records inside. Press the buttons of the jukebox, but there's no response. True to its coin-operated feature, so I need a coin for that. Turning on the TV briefly illuminates the room with a hissing static screen before the TV flashes and pop and goes back off. Just taking a moment to look around at things I need to examine. Is this a coin here? No. Oh, no, here he is again. Nice figure suddenly appears in front of you. Use the hook. Uh, he was ready for your attack. He swats your weapon away with... Oh, uh-oh. Oh, he got me. Shriek! Alright. Same, same story. We're gonna wake up in the, the room again. All right, well, I do want to get back to where we were so that I can get the pull cue. Through here. And then through here. All right, now let's see if I can grab the pull cue. You take the pull cue. Let's examine that. A long, sturdy pull cue, uh, pull cue stick for playing pool. Well, I could have told you that. Another journal entry. I guess we've uh, been reading all of them so far, so we might as well read this one. It says, September 1st, 1987. One of the landscapers showed me something unusual today. He pointed out a patch of strange tendrils that were growing up from the ground where I burned, buried Baxter two weeks ago. I have no idea what they were, but I noticed an, a, a pungent and familiar smell. It smelled a lot like my tea. So, chances are good this guy turned into some sort of plant monster or, uh, or the killer. Drove him, drove him crazy and he started Killing people. Uh, so I'm going to try using the crowbar next time I run into the killer. 12 point buck trophy. Rustic touch to the room. Stiff coarse fur feels cold to the touch. Whatever life this once had is now long gone, of course. Poke around through the trophies, but don't find anything that looks like it would be very useful. Uh, isn't really the time for games. I think we have everything we need from here for now. Yeah. Pull on the ornate gold handle, but the door remains locked. There's a keyhole just below the handle. Uh, do I do I still have a key? I don't. That was that was used for the other thing. All right. Let's come back here when we have a key, like a gold key or something. What about this door? Posters and a small identical beds indicate that this is a bedroom for two young children. Let's just start grabbing stuff. Try to open the music box, but it's held shut by some locking mechanism. You notice a small hole side of the music box. That's another key we need to find. 
You give the teddy bear a squeeze just to be sure it's not hiding anything. It's not. Despite how tired you feel, now isn't the time for a rest. Also, that's a small bed. Despite your efforts, nothing happens. Can I turn on this light? No, of course not. Looking through the dresser, you find an odd toy among the children's clothing, but nothing that looks like it would be useful. Looking through the dresser, you find the odd toy. Just examining everything, just in case. Uh, once colorful posters de uh, depicting colorful uh, various animals and dinosaurs now appear somber and muted in this dark room. Peering inside the dollhouse, you can see what looks like writing on one of the walls, but it's too small to read. How are we doing on time? Okay. Okay, we are- we have been playing Night Manor, so, uh, yeah. Uh, this is a, a pretty cool horror game so far, I would say. And, uh, I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Hopefully you're enjoying it too. Uh, please join me for the next segment, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Peace! Ha 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 ha.